Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Virgo is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Virgo, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And here is the art or temperance card. Um, I feel like with this temperance thing, it's sticking with me. I feel like, I feel like you're mad about something. Yeah, I feel like there's a there's kind of a frustration um, in you right now. And I want to put this into some context. I want to see what's going on. Spirit's also telling me that you need to drink more water. You need to take care of yourself, right? I almost feel like this is you maybe, maybe uh, being overworked. Maybe you're focused on something too intensely that it's taking time away from other things that really matter for you maybe internally right? Uh, maybe your spiritual path, maybe some of your other interests, or even just relaxation, maybe just basic self-care, okay? Um, I feel like you're right in the middle of it right now, and it's really intense, it's really hot, and um, we need to step away from something for a moment, okay? And now let's see what else is going on. Let's put that into some context. More fire. <laughs> Um, this is the Eon Judgment Rebirth Reawakening. It could be that you are, um, you're working on something so intensely because it is, it is going to change your life. Okay. But I, f I feel like the more we stick in this kind of, um, intensity, the further away this goal gets. It's like, this is not, this is not that um, this is not the time to really push with that much effort. This is kind of like you get to a certain point and then you just have to like let gravity take over. You know, you have to let the momentum kind of pull you in. We have all this ambition. Yeah, this is something maybe it's career related. Maybe this is something to do with family. Um, you have this motivation, this endurance. You've been, you've been fighting the good fight for a long time. And we're waiting, we're waiting for that breakthrough, but it almost feels like the, the more we push, the further away it gets, right? It's kind of going like this to us, and we don't know why. Seven of Swords there. Queen of Pentacles there. Five of Wands. Now, Five of Wands, yes, it's more fire, but this is Saturn energy here. This is us knowing how to turn down the fire. It's, sometimes it's like you don't want to go full speed ahead, um, wide open throttle, full thrusters, uh, you know, into this doorway, into this future. Sometimes we've got to kind of turn the engine off and just let it coast, especially if you're running out of gas. Now, there was one time in my life, I was, I don't know, I was a teenager. I was riding in the car with a friend and we were out of gas. And so basically coming off the freeway, he just turned the car off, put, you know, it was in neutral. He turned the engine off and we just kind of coasted off the off ramp and uh, made it around the corner and um, we were able to um, turn the engine on briefly just to give it a little bit more gas and then it died right as we were pulling into the, uh, the gas station, you know. Um, when you're traveling at high speeds like that and your end, your RPMs are really high, you're burning a lot of gas, right? Um, it, it's a lot of, um, and see, even looking at this, we don't even have a lot of water here. We have the, the Ten of Cups that, that's down here in your general energy. I think that this is... Um, well, this is one, it's your need for, um, the self-care. I really, I feel like, I feel like your life is going to change, but not by all this fire energy that we've been dealing with. This isn't the way to go now. I think that your entire life is going to change if you start maybe taking care of yourself or putting yourself first a little bit. See, this is a 10 of cups as your general energy. And 10, we kind of feel is like the last, right? It's the end of the cycle of water. It's kind of like you serve everybody else before you serve yourself. 
Maybe we need to kind of turn that around. That doesn't really work flipping the card upside down. But maybe we need to turn it off a little bit. And maybe that's part of this, the Saturn energy with this Five of Wands. Turning down this outward flowing kind of, um, this extroverted energy and focus on keeping a little bit for ourselves. Maybe serving ourselves, it doesn't have to be first, but not last either, right? Not last. Let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is one random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. We'll set it over here. We'll put Alien Simon Mork Ripley right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need. All right. If at any point during the reading you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put your prediction down in the comments. All right. We're going to do it together. We'll, we'll make it a group exercise. Okay. Spirit's telling me that you're kind of known for your temper right now. I feel like there's this kind of... Um, there's there's uh, some frustration and it's just kind of like we know we're overworked when the littlest things start to really bug us yeah um there's also something going on with your mouth i don't know if you if you bit your lip or your tongue i think maybe your tongue and i i wonder if this is part of this frustration where we're we need to breathe we're going too fast we're like um we're, we're thinking so fast that we're stumbling over our words, right? We're, we're eating so fast that we're, we're biting our tongue or biting our lip or cheek or something. There's something going on there. Um, so it's kind of like this idea of we need to slow down. Yeah. We need to take a breath. We need to relax. We need to go take a hot bath. We need to drink a glass of water. We need to just, just sit around and be lazy for five minutes even, you know? And I think that is what is going to allow you to make this big breakthrough. Now, it feels maybe this is a work thing or, or something related to this kind of, a, it's a big part of your life anyway. And you're trying to break through to the next level. You're trying to either get that promotion or get that, meet that deadline or really um, break your own records, right? Or like uh, really impress the boss or really make this huge, huge accomplishment. So we're pushing, 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 and we're trying to win the race. We think it's a race, and we think that now that the goal's in sight, now we've got to just dig our heels in and, and run faster. It's not that kind of a race, right? Now, you'll have to excuse me if I hit the cough button a few times today because I, um, I have this sinus thing. Now it's kind of moving into my throat and chest. I'm sure you can hear the way my voice sounds today. But anyway, I'm here. Um, this is a this is a moment. This is a situation that will change the rest of your life. Okay, and I feel like this is a doorway that's already here. It's not going anywhere. You don't have to fight so hard to get there first. You know. You don't have to really break your back or kill yourself to to get there. You know, as an expression. Um, you can slow down a little bit. You can take care of yourself. You can, uh, you can try to rejuvenate your energy. You can try to relax a little bit. Yeah. I feel like lately there's been a lot of. Um, it's it's a frantic feeling. It's it's almost like um, we're putting so much effort into everything, like not just effort as in I'm going to try to do a good job, but literally that we're like we're scrubbing the dishes really really hard. You know what I mean? We're putting way too much actual energy into the easiest of tasks. And that kind of is, that's kind of counterintuitive. Because what we really should be doing is finding the path of least resistance, finding the way to conserve our energy. We don't need to completely exhaust ourselves just, you know, washing one plate. Right? Why don't we do it? Why don't we use gravity? Why don't we use the momentum uh, to our advantage rather than trying to just really, you know, uh, uh, it, it's going to tire you out. And I wonder too about the shoulder. I feel some shoulder issues with you. I feel like you've got a lot going on that's related to this kind of overexertion. It's a spiritual kind of creative overexertion as well as a physical one. Yeah. And maybe there's been a lot of headaches lately, too. I just, I feel like we're just kind of, we just need to relax, you know. We need to, um, 
we need to spend a good day just kind of treating ourselves, you know. But like the Ten of Cups says, you kind of put yourself last, right? So let's see what we have here. Let's look around. We've got, this is a lot of major arcana, really, but it's all fire. Fire, 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 fire. The one thing that's not fire, and I know this is Capricorn, this is Earth energy, but this is Cardinal Earth. It's fire of Earth. This is Sagittarius. This is fire. This is the Eon card. That's pure fire. This is Leo. That's fire. But the Sagittarius card, the Art or Temperance card, is saying, hey, let's mix a little bit of water in there. I wonder if that would taste better, right? Uh, the food, you know, and I, I don't know if anyone like spicy food. Um, I feel like sometimes you do, but sometimes you really, really don't. Like you've got to be in the mood for it. But when you have spicy food, you need something to go with it to cool things down, right? You have really spicy, like Indian food, you'll have some yogurt too, to cool things down. Yeah, to balance things out. And that's what the Ardor Temperance card is kind of calling for now. We don't need to be all fire all the time. You don't need to be always on. You don't need to have every moment feel like chaos. Or it's hard to explain. It almost feels like every moment is um, there's this frantic energy. It's almost that every, every situation, every interaction is like a crisis. Yeah. And the Ardor Temperance card here is, is trying to bring our attention to that. And so it does feel like you, you've got this temper, this anger about you right now, right? I don't know, are you preparing to travel or something? Spirit's telling me something about there's travel. So I don't know if you're planning for a trip or something like this, or you're trying to, I don't know if it has something to do with the work that you're doing. Um, there's something about uh, kind of a long distance travel. Like, I don't know if it's a vacation. I hope it's a vacation. Uh, with something about about travel coming up, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the well. First, let's talk about all the rest of the fire energy, right? So we've got our major arcana. Then we also have more fire, more fire. We've got water. We've got a little bit of air, a little bit of earth. Um, there's an abundance of fire here, and what we see with both the ardor temperance card and the five of wands is the need to tone it down. The need to bring in a little bit of uh, regulation. We need to, we need to turn the fire down. Okay, and I'm wondering about the Queen of Pentacles up here because this is one of your power cards, right? The Queen of Pentacles, Water of Earth. And uh, I feel like this is really your ability to learn from the past. This is your ability to observe something and really internalize it and turn it into a functional wisdom. It's like you can watch somebody do something one time and then you know how to do it. Yeah. And I think that's part of the problem right now, to be honest with you. Because I feel like you know how to do everything and now you feel like you've got to do everything. Just because you know how to fix everything that's wrong with the world doesn't mean you need to be the one doing it. Okay? You're going to wear yourself out. Um... You have this kind of superhero energy about you, where it's just like you're the only one that can fix these things, right? And I think part of that is the, a lack of trust for others. And we've got that seven of, we got that seven of swords down here. I feel like there is a lack of trust. I feel like there's this, um, you're the kind of person that, well, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. The problem is there's a lot to do. And you don't have the time and the energy to do it all yourself. Spirit is saying that you need to slow down. Spirit is saying that you have to figure out what's going to help you relax. What's going to help you, like, sleep at night. Yeah, please excuse my, my coughing here. Um, jumping ahead a little bit to the Prince of Cups here. This is really, this is you, um, and I chuckle because this is you kind of like, this is you prancing around like in your bathrobe with a cup of like sparkling apple cider or something with like just, you know, really relaxing, indulging, like having this luxurious day. 
while all around you is fire and work and effort. And it's kind of, it, this is the position of the obstacle here, right? Because this is kind of like, you're relaxing and taking it easy. Everybody else is busting their butt. You don't like that, right? I don't know if it makes you feel guilty or if it just makes you feel like, um, makes you feel kind of crazy, right? Because you, you want to be watching everybody to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, make sure it gets done right. But you have to learn how to relax, how to indulge, how to kick back, put your feet up, get your favorite beverage, right? Get uh, the bowl of almonds, right? And just enjoy it. Put the cucumbers over your eyes and just let all the cares go. It doesn't matter if everybody else around you is working their heads off. That's okay. You deserve that, right? But this is kind of the obstacle. You don't feel you don't feel comfortable just luxuriating when everybody else is working very hard. You got to get over that. You know, you got to get over that. You've earned that. And you've certainly watched everybody else relax enough times while you've busted your butt. So it's okay that it's kind of it's going the other way now, right? And I think this is really this is how you're going to change your entire life. Because this is what's needed right now, is this, there's no way that you're going to enjoy and feel satisfied with your life if you're always with this, and I don't feel like you even get enough sleep. You probably do, what, four or five hours of sleep every night, right? Uh, we need more like seven, eight, nine, right? Somewhere around there. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what's going on with you. Go see a professional if you have concerns. But as far as your energy goes... There's a lot of fire here, and there's a reluctance for you to, to ever really slow down and relax. And I think with the Seven of, of Swords, like I said, it has to do with this trust or this, um, this, this perception of things that there's always something that needs to be done, and you're the only one that can really solve it. Okay. Um, Spirit is telling me that there's something that needs to be done with a car. The car needs to be fixed. Um, maybe you should be the one to take the car in. Go, go drop the car off. Go to the restaurant or the salon or the spa or the whatever hardware store next door and just relax. Just spend time with yourself. Go shopping, right? Um, have something to eat. Just, just really, maybe there's a park, right? Um, treat yourself to something. Go drop the car off. Let them fix the car and you go do something for yourself. Okay. And that's a direct that's an order from spirit, right? Go go take care of the car and take care of yourself as well. And I think that there's a message there too because our taking care of the car, it's our vehicle, right? It's our vessel. It's how we move from one point in space to the other. So it's our it's kind of a it's synonymous really with the the physical body. Yeah. We have to take care of our vehicles. Yeah, that's important. Uh, let's go to the path of the serpent now. And as I do this, I'd like to ask for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. Okay. Uh, the Ten of Cups, it's satiety. It's being full. Sometimes it's having too much of something, right? And I think that there's a little bit of truth there. I think we've had a little bit too much of all of this activity, all of this kind of being in charge, being the one that has, has to kind of, you know, do everything. Uh, and maybe the travel thing that we're talking about, maybe this is a move. Maybe you're, you're preparing to move your family or relocate somewhere, and it's just kind of, um, it's something that you feel you need to do all of it, right? That you have to literally, like, pack every box and take care of every single thing that needs, that needs handling. <clears throat> but what we were saying before with the Ten of Cups is that this is you putting yourself kind of last, that you serve yourself the plate of food last. If there's any left, that's what you'll eat, right? We've got to do something about that because that is, that's draining you. That is just one more, that's, that's one more drain on your energy, you know? It's like you're the first one up in the morning, you're the last one to go to bed, you're the last one to eat, um... You, uh, you make sure everybody else is taken care of before you're taken care of. And I think it's starting to take its toll. Okay. Um, I don't know if you have a, do you have a chronic health condition? I don't know if it's like asthma or something, something breathing related. That's like a, um, that's a chronic thing. It feels like it maybe it's asthma or something, right? Yeah. Um, 
our body's like a microchip, right? We've got to really take care of it. We've got to make sure that everything is working perfectly. If one little thing goes wrong with it, it kind of sets off a chain reaction. So I think that there's this need for balance. There's this need for rejuvenation and restoration for you. And the Ten of Cups, hopefully, is you starting to focus on all of these different areas of your life, of your being, of your body, spirit, soul, uh, your heart and mind. And focus on healing and rejuvenating and restoring all of these different parts of yourself. All of these Ten Cups is a different, you know, a different department in your, in your soul, in your, in your being. Okay. And the Ten of Cups, hopefully, is you focused on every one of these spiritual systems, you know, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, all of it. Yeah. And then I think from there, really, this Luster Strength card, now this is more fire too, but this is someone now who's in control of this fire energy, knows how to use it. And it's kind of like when we're just, when we're using it all at once for everything, then nothing and nothing's really, it's not as effective as when we kind of save it up and focus it on something, concentrate that energy in a particular direction. It has much more, much more effect, right? It's a lot more potent than if it just kind of spreads everywhere. And that's the combination of the Five of Wands and the Luster Strength card. The Luster Strength card is someone who has control of their creative energy. The five of wands is you exerting that control. You've got your hand on the reins. And this is you exerting the force, knowing when to kind of, you know, let that energy out, when to pull it back. Where to direct it, right? This is the oven. This is the stove, the burners on the stove, that it goes all the way from low to high, right? It doesn't always need to be on high. Sometimes things can just kind of simmer and chill. Sometimes you could turn the stove off and just let things cool down. Sometimes medium is the way to go to cook it, right? And to, to cook it, to make the best dish possible, to make the best outcome here. And this is, again, going back to the Eon card. This is a life-changing moment for you. I think that you've been operating this way for a long time, that this is a big change. Your whole life is going to change when you start prioritizing yourself. I guarantee it. I guarantee you'll have a different experience of the world. Yeah. And um, we've got to get over this Prince of Cups like we talked about. This is the kind of the guilt or the feeling that we're kind of... Um, Almost like we're doing something we're not supposed to do. When we're relaxing, when we're taking a break, when we're resting, sleeping, we're getting a, taking a nap or something. We feel guilty because all this activity going on around us and we're the one still in our bathrobe or we're the one taking a, a bubble bath or something or a long shower, right? And then we feel like we've got to just go back to frantic, impulsive, trying to do everything mode. And so this, this is the combination here that we really got to look out for. And I kind of wish that we could stop here with the, um, with the Prince of Cups and just ha leave you in your bathrobe with the cucumbers on your eyes and your cup of, I don't know, whatever your favorite beverage is, um, and just luxuriating for the day, just treating yourself, taking care of yourself, restoring your energy. Uh, I wish we could just leave you here, but we see that turning into a, a more fire energy, a Princess of Wands. This is kind of... Um, then you, you know, you, you strip off your bathrobe and you're in your work clothes, you know, and you've already got your hammer and your nail and your level and your headlamp and whatever else you need. I guess you're a miner or something. <clears throat> and so you're already like ready to go. So it's like you weren't really relaxing because you had your work clothes on underneath you, underneath the robe, you know, you were just, you were fooling. So we need real relaxation. We really need to take the car to the shop. You go next door and just don't worry. They'll call you when it's ready. Maybe it takes hours. That's all right. Treat yourself. Go shopping. Get a hotel room. Just sleep for a few hours, right? Whatever it is. Um, but do it authentically. Do it in a real way. Don't have your work clothes on underneath. Because that's cheating. Okay? Uh, let's look at the mystery card. Let's see what's going on over here. Um, 
what is this going to be? I want to see more water energy, honestly. I want to see like a nine or a ten of cups. I want to see a six of cups would be great. Um, I want to see an empress energy. I want to see maybe the hermit. Maybe your power card. If you have a prediction, I want you to put it down in the comments. All right. Um, yeah, I almost feel like you're preparing for a move or something. There's some... I just got... The, uh, Impressions of boxes that are stacked and like half full and there's just open and something to do with packing or moving or or something like maybe you're unpacking. I don't know. Let's see what the mystery card is, though. A four. Four of wands. This is okay because this is at least a stabilizing, a slowing down of some of this fire energy. This is us coasting over the finish line rather than running as fast as we can. No, now we're just kind of like, we've pushed with all of our effort, a big, you know, let's say a burn on a rocket ship. Uh, we've, we've used the thrusters, we've turned them off. And now it's just the momentum carrying us across the finish line. Yeah, and that's how we're, let's think of it as, as like a spaceship, right? We've got to conserve our fuel. We have a finite amount of, of fuel here. Let's not just burn our engines. Let's not just have our thrusters going all day and all night. We're going to wake up with nothing. Let's use just a little bit of thrust, and then let's just coast through the vastness of space, going through this doorway into what is really going to be um, a really different life for you. Yeah. And it's a life, and it really, it's, I mean, it, it, if you start, if you start doing this, I think your life is really going to see a lot of changes. I, I really guarantee it. I do. We're going to do an extended reading. I guarantee that as well. You can click on the link up here, or there's one at the end of the video, and there's also one down in the video description. Okay. Uh, new readings for Virgo every Tuesday and Saturday, but I'm here every day. You can come see me again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. Uh, and leave a comment for me. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together. <laughs>